Hello everyone and welcome back to Sudesia! Woo, sorry about that. I'm kind of bumping into the uh, glowstone little formations that we have up here, but I am so excited because Pigment Fern's still here! Pigment Fern, high five! How are you, sir? How are you? I am so glad that he hasn't left yet. Oh, and we've got so many nether warts and everything to gather. Oh, this will be wonderful. But we will gather those. Oh my goodness. Pigment Fern, you have quite a few fans over here. He's a popular pig. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he likes his, his little blazing flowers. That is so cool. All right, let me see. Come here, you guys. Ah, ah, ah. Leave Pigment Fern to his work. But we are actually going to be working on something down here today because we have Nautilus DNA. I still can't believe that we managed to get that again. That was a gift from Mara. I'm just so excited. So today actually is going to be a day where I think we'll spend a little bit of time fussing with our DNA. We haven't really done that in a long time. And every time we get in here and we start sorting biofossils and we start fussing around with all of the different DNA and embryo bits and the eggs. See our little embryo culture bats? Little Quagga. This is actually Professor Cowplant the first. <laughs> We're stored in there and the second. And then we've got all of these eggs from ostrich on down to Composaurus, to Brachiosaurus, Kelican, Triceratops. Oh, wonderful. But actually I'm really I'm feeling like I'm feeling like working on it today, lab chickens. I'm feeling like working on uh, just kind of poking around with the DNA and the fossils and seeing what we churn up. So let's start. Darling, good morning, my love. Mwah. Good morning. All right. Let's start by getting us some more of the culture vats. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, look at me. I remembered. Let's make some more culture vats. Water buckets, glass, cactus green iron. We can get those things in abundance because we have our little well right here. It's just exciting. Like you get, you get really into the idea of being able to have more dinosaurs and I have to admit maybe because it's a big dinosaur month with Jurassic Park War or Jurassic World excuse me coming out but I'm I'm pretty excited about dinos lately oh thank you my love I think he gave me another cup of tea let's drink it while it's still nice and warm looking over our fishies I really want more crabs crabs are kind of hard to find lately we should gather up a bunch of them all right and then let's see I'm gonna need some ingots to make these do I have any raw ores to put downstairs? I do have a bit, quite a fair bit of iron. We'll put some of the iron in the smeltery uh, so that it can be churned up while we are working down there today. Oh, because I mean, maybe it's because we worked with the pleosaurs too. Also, we're out of green dye. Huh. All right, I'm pretty sure, oh, there we go. I'm like, I'm pretty sure we have a ton of it hiding somewhere. And sure enough, we did, and I need glass. So let's pull up the glass. I may need a wee bit more than that. So let's go ahead and stick some of it in a furnace. Oh, <laughs> look at that foresight. But yes, there's so many big surprises and events coming up pretty soon. When we hit the 500th episode of Zoo Crafting, we will be starting season two of Zoo Crafting. So I'm really excited, like kind of nervous, but really excited. And I think you guys will love it. Darling, I know you will love it. I should give Darling a bigger library. And you guys keep reminding me that he does indeed need a bed of his own, like a day bed to rest in. All right, there we go. What? Oh, that's why. Culture vat, culture vat, culture vat, there. All right, let's go downstairs and tuck this all away. It's just, you know, some days it's just nice to spend time working among all of our lab assistants down here. Which reminds me, we need to get Monica into our nether area. So let me go ahead at this. Oh yeah, you're still churning away, huh? Doesn't seem like you're getting much done. I think I need to break it somehow. Uh, if I take this out and then put it back. Oi! Hey, give it back! The item hopper got it first. Come here, you. Alright, I wonder if this will work. And then do that. Is it gonna work now? To be honest, the more I'm getting into, like, tinkers, the more I'm really getting into it. Like, I'm really excited to be working. Come on, you can do it. Come on out. Don't be shy. Ah. Alright. I have to... I hate wasting some of it, but for some reason... It just happens like this now and then. 
Ah, there we go, there we go. You're gonna make a little plate. You were working all automatically earlier. Ah, well. Let's see, what is this? The aluminum molten brass. We're just gonna melt down a bunch of iron. I guess maybe it's better if I just leave this off and let the iron pile up for now. We'll just melt it down. We won't put it in any blocks or anything for the moment. Ah, oh, so much to do. I love it. I love it. This is our world. You guys were so fun telling me what you would do. Tell me again. Keep telling me. It inspires me to get to work on other things of what you would work on if you were here in the zoo with us. So I love hearing those things because uh, it's just it's so fun. It's so fun to see what gets you guys excited, what makes you want to work on things. Our DNA chamber. Where am I going to put these other two? I guess I could put them over the, the sorting thing. Oh, let's put them right here. This wall doesn't really have anything on it yet. There we go. But tell me what you would do in Zudesia, and it totally helps inspire me, give me energy, creativity, to uh, continue working in different directions, because this is kind of endless. It really is. We have so much work to do in every direction. All right, speaking of that, excuse me, Professor Kaplan III. Pardon me, ma'am. I am in need of a bit more milk. And then we'll slide this way. You know, once we get a butcher set up, because many of you had the awesome idea to get a butcher in the Village of Light. And so once we get a butcher set up, it would actually be pretty fun to be able to go to the nether for once and collect that nasty flesh that's just sitting around everywhere. And then we can turn it into, uh, like, meat. We can trade for various meats. In fact, I think there's a lot of different types of meat. Yeah, look at this. So we can go and get the nasty, spooky, ugly, icky, bicky, ugh, like I'm gagging just thinking about it, meat from uh, the nether, and then we can take it and trade it uh, for the various other types of meat that is available. Um, I don't know about dinosaur meat. I don't think there's enough wild dinosaurs to justify that. But, you know, quagga, meat nuggets, I guess. Ugh, ugh. Ugh. It's just, oh, why does it have to be so... Ah, pink. Ah, it reminds me of working as a nurse, and I just, oh my gosh, I can't believe, like, goosebumps all over my body. Ostrich meat, crab meat, actually crab's delicious, even though I haven't eaten it in ever, because now we're vegan. <laughs> Turtle meat, uh, you know, there's different things like that. And then, oh, come on, let's see, let's look at what Pam's has in terms of meat dishes that we could trade for. Like, breaded pork chop. I imagine that would be a wee bit more money. Baked ham. What would you make that out of? Let's see, what else is in here? Hot wings, which I imagine is just made... Yep, with chicken or tofu. I need to make someone I can just trade tofu to, like, with, because that would be amazing. Or restaurants! More restaurants. What kind of restaurant ideas would you guys have for Zudesia? Let me know. But all right, let's get some of this DNA going. Got a couple Nautilus, and then... Who else? Why don't we just work on trying to create some of these guys from DNA into their eggs and into the embryo culture vat just so that they are prepared and we don't have to think we have three velociraptors and then we go to put them down and we don't because it was DNA, not an egg. <laughs> and they all explode and turn into more pigment. So let's do that. Got a lot of dodo DNA, mammoth DNA. Got plenty of quagga embryos. We don't really need to worry about that. Um, let's try the terror bird DNA actually. Why, hello, Assistant Freezer Bunny. He's like, I am here. I know what we are doing. I am of assistance. All right, let's put a couple of little Nodli DNAs in. Man, he is ready to help out. He has taken his job seriously. Look at this. He's like, I'm on this. Good job. Good job, Assistant Freezer Bunny. All right, and then we'll put the little terror bird in here. And in here. What a fun day. Sometimes you just have to slow down and do some of the chores, and it's amazing the kinds of adventures and ideas that come to you whilst you're doing the chores. Yeah, we got plenty of room to store more of this stuff. I'm just going to keep smelting. Hey, I hear you too, Pigman Fern. All right, I'm going to come in, and we'll harvest up the nether wart. It's a good crop, Pigman Fern. I think under your, your tender care, we're going to have some of the best nether wart crops that we've ever had. Nothing like knowing your native crops, eh? All right, then let's pop over here. We'll just go down the line. Also, the mushrooms have spread, which is awesome. And then we come over here. Do, 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 do. Gather them all up. Come here, mushrooms. Gotcha. 
There we go. And close it up. Thank you very much, Pigment Fern. I like the Nether Rock mushroom farm idea too. I, I imagine that should make that should make like a really cool type of mushroom, not just the the normal little brown mushroom. It should make like a I don't know a spicy Nether mushroom, like a spicy mushroom, like a cross between a mushroom and a pepper. What do you think, Pigment Fern? Really? Thank you, Pigment Fern. All right, hey, 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 back, 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 my wee loves. Hey, I saw your sneakiness. Get back over here, you. Goodness, we have a lot of assistants, <laughs> but I love our assistant chickens. It's, it's, it's fine. All right, so now this is going. That's going to take a wee bit. Uh, do we have anything else in here? Let's sort this. Pottery shards. You know, pottery shards don't seem as common as they used to be, so we better... Ooh, a biofossil. Let's analyze it and see what it turns into. All right, there you go. Yeah, the pottery shards don't seem nearly as common as they used to be, so we better be cautious with that. Sifted scraps, more sand, more gravel. We're going to have quite a bit before we're done. Ancient plant specimens. Put those away. And then we can come back over here, toss the gravel in. Come back over here, toss the sand in. Toss the sand in here, too. There we go. Oh, everybody's excited because they're like, finally, she's actually spending time in the lab. We can learn things. Now, what can I do with the pottery shards again? That's right, make the broken pottery. We'll, we'll think about that. We have to spend a lot of time working on all these various things in the near future. How are we doing? I'm so excited if we get little Nautili back again. Oh, I've missed them. Pigment Fern, are you all right? Hey, would you stop, you little goose bucket? Fine, you can come in and be his assistant. If you're going to be that insistent about it. See the chunks of flesh. Ugh. But we could turn those over to a butcher and get some different kinds of food. All right, let's just put some mushrooms in here, too. Aw, oh, man! Little Fellasaurus coming at us. Hi, little guy. In you go. Have to tend to you in just a bit. Okay, so that was one of our terror birds. But we got the DNA back. Alright, let's just stick this back in. Eh. Eh, there we go. Everybody alright? Alright, everybody seems like they're alright. Oh, except the chickens. Hang on, guys. You'll be okay. Come on out. Yeah, you'll figure it out. Don't worry. Alright, so we need to remake another cultivating vat so we can keep this going. Everybody else is doing okay so far. Milk is not the best ingredient, like I said, to try to cultivate with. Hello, darling, don't worry about me. I'm just summoning, like, ancient... Oh, there he goes, teleporting back upstairs. Just summoning some ancient creatures from the depths. Usual day, usual day, nothing to worry about. Let's go get some more water. There we go. Pop over here. And voila, another culture vat. I remember when it was like pulling hen's teeth to try to be able to get more of these. And now we have quite the supply. It's so fun to see as we grow over the years and get more and more materials. But take our time about it too. Can't be, can't be rushing this. All right, and then let's go ahead. Pardon me, Professor Cowplant the third. Thank you. All right, bit more milk. Let's put this one here. I'm gonna need to make more. I should use the rest of the uh, the rest of the iron I have in my hands to make more buckets because I used up all of my buckets I normally keep in my little backpack. Oh, I'm so excited! What if we have some tiny? There we go. There we go. Voila! What if we have some tiny little Nautilus? That'll be so exciting! And who knows what kind of terror birds we could end up with? Ah, so close! So close! Well, let's collect the buckets and we can fill them back up with milk. There we go. There we go. Those two are already filled up. One, two. One, two. Professor Kaplan the third. Pardon me. All right. And then we'll go ahead. <gasps> A living Nautilus! Yes, we got one! We have two! Two! Oh my gosh, we're going to have to put him in the fish tank. I thought about it, but oh my goodness, this is a new type. We don't have this little one. We do not have this little one. Oh my goodness. See what I mean? And then, oh, two new types, two new types. 
Oh my gosh! This is the kind of stuff that gets you really excited to try again, like to keep to keep making more dino things. It's so thrilling! Oh my gosh! Okay, let's put the Nodlai in the tank, and then we'll come back and see if we have one more. One more little one. Also, I need to gather more raw ore to put down there. And just throw more of the iron ore in there. It's always good to have the iron accessible. Usually in block form is fine. Alright, I normally die when I attempt to do this. So, what we're going to do is see if we can just put them in from here. I don't do well trying to go into my fish tank. So, oops, uh, nope, nope, that was an accident. I don't want to be in my fish tank. Let me up, let me up. Hello, little Nautilus. Very nice to meet you. Do I need to give you a little name? You can go in the water, you know. Down you go. Whoops, okay, nope, not me, not me. Not down, not down I go, please. Actually, I should have named it before I pushed it in. No, okay, quick, to the name tags. Ah, we'll name them after some of the ones we had last time. I remember, I remember Luna, the Nautilus. And I don't remember the others. No, okay, but I do remember Luna. And I'm going to name the other one Amber just because I can't think of another name. And Amber seems fitting for a creature that we have brought back from, from the depths. All right, Luna. Oh dear, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Where's Luna, where's Luna, where's Luna? Straight down, straight down. No, I'm moving. Not good, 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 not good. Not this again. Not this again, I refuse. Let me up, let me up, let me up. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh, I hate it when that happens. And, oh, uh, okay. Snorkel can go on. And we're going to find Luna. I should have named her, cursed this all, before this happened. There she is. Okay. And named. And, okay, swim up before the water current carries me away. Let me up. Let me up. I see you. I know where you are. Let me up. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> you can only die. There we go. You can only die so many times in your own fish tank before it makes you a little paranoid. There you go, Amber. Get on down. You don't need to hang on on the ladder. Go on, shoop. Get in the water. Shoop. I can't, I can't. There, we pushed her in. Yay, Nautilus! All right, and I didn't die. I'm weak with relief. I was totally expecting to just like drown in my own fish tank again. Very alarming when that happens. Very alarming indeed. All right, how we do you in? Looking good. Looks like the water is kind of having some issues with ya. So sorry about that. Oh dear. I really should go in there and even though it's so pretty, possibly redo quite a bit of the fish tank. Because it seems a little unfair to just let her let her bob around in the current. You know, just remove all the pieces that are kind of moving them about. But we have Nautilus in our fish tank again, which is awesome. Oh, okay, and let's see what kind of baby do we have? Don't know yet. Man, he's like holding audience with the chickens. Let's go ahead, come down here. In you go, Iron. And the last one. Almost. I'm eagerly awaiting your entrance into the world, little one. I can't believe we have two new types of terror birds. We'll have to save them. Get ready for season two of the amazingness coming up. I feel like I'm knitting again. I always feel like I, ha I don't even know how to knit, but I always get this urge to knit while I sit and wait for babies. <gasps> Three of them. We have a whole little group. Mara must have found an area where they like all had died together, and that's why we have those. Look at that little calican egg. Ah, that's wonderful. Okay, this is fantastic. We have now added quite a bit to our wonderful egg collection. I think we'll continue to do so on occasion because it is very rewarding to, oh, and we forgot to check with the analyze, so I just bought mail. It is very rewarding to be able to know that right here, you already have the prepared creature waiting for you. And you just need to get the, the time and the space to be able to provide them a home. And then we would have all sorts of dinosaurs and compies and, and marine reptiles and flying reptiles moving around. And it's just, ah, oh, it's just fantastic. But all right, guys, that completes our work for the day. And now I'm going to zip around and see what needs done around the zoo before season two there's a lot and we'll get ready for next adventures i'm thinking we will go and collect kate 
And I think, was it Ash we took with us? I can't, no, it was Tate and Holly, I believe, we took with us over with our little babies. We'll go check on our little baby plesiosaurs, the plesiosaurs, even. Oh, words. And we'll see how they're faring. And then, oh, there's so much. Oh, I remember. We need to go collect some more eggs of another type lab chicken. Oh, and look at our little fishies. I'm so proud of everything we've done. But all right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.